In this video, we'll be using the statistical functions of our Sharp EL531XT calculator to find sample means, sample standard deviations, and sample variance. Uh, before I do any of that, the first thing that we have to learn how to do is to put our calculator in stats mode. And we do that by using the mode button that we have right here. The mode button, if I touch the mode button, it'll ask me do I want to be in the normal mode or stats mode, and I want to be in stats mode, so I'll touch button 1. And then it'll ask me which kind of stats mode do I want to be in. There's SD, that would be if we're finding means and standard deviations. There's line, that would be if we were looking at a linear model, which is what we'll be doing when we get to chapter 8. Number 2, that would be if you were looking at a quadratic model, which is not something that's part of this course. So for this course, you're only going to need to know how to put yourself in stat mode 0, my finding means and standard deviations, or in stat mode 1, for linear models when we're in chapter 8. So I'll choose 0. And now we can see in the display window it says two things. It says stat 0, letting you know which stat mode that you're in. And if we look at the top right hand corner, it says stat there as well. That's another reminder that you are in stats mode. Okay, so the first thing that we need to learn to do after we've put ourselves in stats mode is how to enter data. And the enter key for data is the button M plus that lives right here in the corner. Every time I want to enter an object, or sorry, enter a measurement, I'll touch the M plus button afterwards. So the first observation, 15.0, and I'll touch M plus. And then it now says data set equals 1. This is a confirmation of how many things my calculator has in its memory. So 15.9, M plus, 15.0, M plus, 14.2 and each time M plus and each time it will confirm how many things the calculator has in its memory. So 13.0 M plus 16.1 M plus we have 12.9 we have 13.3 and we have 14.4. Okay, so now it has 10 things in the calculator's memory. Our data set is 10. And now the next thing to think about is how are we going to find our sample means and sample standard deviations and all the rest. All of our statistical functions you can see here that are in that sort of light green color. Right above the number 4 you can see X bar, that's the sample mean. Right above the number 5, you can see SX, that's our sample standard deviation. The other function that might be nice to know here is right above the number 0, you'll see an N, that's our sample size. And to get at any of these statistical functions in green, we just need to touch the Recall button. So to find out the sample mean, I would touch Recall number 4 and it tells me in my display window that X bar, the sample mean, is 14.07. So I'll say X bar, our sample mean, is 14.07. Now if I want to find the standard deviation, that's right here above the number 5, SX, that's our sample standard deviation, so recall SX, and it tells me my sample standard deviation is about 1.5805 uh, and for variance since variance is found just by squaring the standard deviation then and since I have the standard deviation if I square it x squared that's the button I'll touch and hit equals and we can see in the display window SX squared, the variance, is 2.498. Uh, .4 to 
couple of things just to mention about this as well. Um, if you have forgotten your sample size, I know it's been only a couple of minutes, but let's say we've forgotten, oh, how many things were there? We can enter recall zero, because right above the button zero, you can see in green N for sample size, and it confirms that you've got 10 things in the calculator's memory. I have one more thing to mention here, which is this. Suppose that I just clear my calculator and hit on, or even suppose that I've turned my calculator off and then put it in the drawer and pulled it out a week later and turned it back on. Uh, one thing with our calculator is that that does not clear out the things that were in the calculator's memory. In fact, if I touch recall X bar, it still has the 10 observations in the calculator's memory. The only way really for you to get rid of all of the data that was already in the calculator's memory is by using the function CA, and that's for clear all. So if I'd like to erase all the data that's in the calculator's memory, because let's say I want to do another question, I touch second function, CA, and now I have nothing in my calculator's memory. And I can check that by entering recall N, and it confirms I've got N equals zero things in the calculator's memory. So just to recap, when we we're using our calculator, we would use the mode function to turn it into stats mode, and for finding means and standard deviations, that would be stats mode zero. We should get into the habit of every time we're entering data, first second function CA, clear out all the old data in the calculator's memory, we would enter data by touching the M plus button, and it will confirm how many things the calculator has in its memory. And then to find the values of the sample mean and sample standard deviation, we access those with the recall button, recall X bar or recall SX, and that would be how we find the means and standard deviations.